What is this? Remember when you said from now on everyone has to wash out their own dishes? Well, on this one handy appliance, I've included all the breakfast staples. Milk, juice, bananas, an egg, and some pie. <laughs> I just hit the switch and zammo. And, Dad, it tastes as good as it looks. What do you think? I'm too proud to speak. <laughs> Hello. How many times do I have to tell you I am not interested, Freddy? Capiche? Now, don't tell me how much it pays because I'll... I asked you not to tell me. I still got a pass, Matt. Thanks anyway, and uh, don't call me anymore. Oh! Damn it! How many times have I told you to close cupboard doors? If I lose an eye, will that make you guys happy? No. Of course, if you lose both eyes, we could get a dog. <laughs> and by the way, you opened that cupboard door yourself. I saw you. I know that. I'm just talking about closing them in the future. Is that too much to ask? Are you going to tell us what's wrong? They offered me a week on a cruise ship sailing to Mexico. Those monsters, how dare they? <laughs> The theme of the cruise is float into the 50s. You know what that means? Seven days, three chords backing a Chuck Berry impersonator. I did not go to Juilliard for that. But a week... Rounding the... out the bill are the new platters, the new Shirelles, and Dick Clark's cousin Neil, who, by the way, hasn't aged well. <laughs> Sounds awful. So what's the problem? The money is great. How great? So great, I could get the IRS off my back once and for all. Hold it. You're not worried about us, are you? <laughs> you are worried about us. This is so bizarre, I don't believe it. Dad, you've left us alone before. This is for a whole week. Forget about it. Dad, we're not kids. I said forget about it, and you are a kid. Plus, you've got one brother who's a recovering drug addict, and Joey... Huh? <laughs> Need I say more? Dad, I'm not a kid. I'm 14. Some women have babies at 14. Oh, there's a winning argument. <laughs> I am going to build a shrine to the man who invented mini malls. <laughs> we all have our heroes. <laughs> One fast stop and a guy can get pizza, Thai food, videotapes, dry cleaning, and taps put on his shoes. Which this guy did. You recognize this? It's a theme from Hawaii Five-0. How you doing, Anthony? I am terrific. I am better than terrific. I am, wait. I've never used this word before. I am splendid. <laughs> Went out with Stephanie. That girl you met at AA? Mm. I like Stephanie. She's nice. You know, it's funny. You, you meet someone one day and bam, the air smells sweeter, the grass is greener, 
A hunchback selling newspapers on the corner is standing just a little straighter. <laughs> okay, hold your head up to the light. I'm checking your eyes. Dad, no, I'm not high. I'm just feeling good. Check that. I am feeling splendid. Uh, uh, What's um, the matter, Joey? Yeah, I, th I think I got a stomach ache. Listen, uh, maybe I should stay home from school. The cable's out. You think I'm faking? Nintendo's broken. See you later. <laughs> Dad, we can take care of ourselves. If you're too overprotective, Blossom. we'll turn into one of those spooky families where the kids get into their 50s and never leave home. Blossom. And the newspapers pile up and neighborhood kids dare each other to run across our porch. Blossom! <laughs> okay. I get your point. I'm going to call Freddy and tell him I'll take the gig. But you have to do one thing for me. Now, I know you're the youngest, but Anthony has a head full of problems, and Joey has a head full of hair. <laughs> so I'd appreciate it if you kind of take charge while I'm gone, okay? Sure, no problem. Joey. I'm going, I'm going. No, uh, look, I am going to take this gig, so I'm going to be out of town for a week. This might be a good chance for you to take on a little more responsibility. I'm looking for a man I can trust to be in charge while I'm gone. I understand. Well, who'd you have in mind? <laughs> Michelle Crookstein asked what we did tonight with your father out of town. It would be a humongous mistake to tell her we did this. <laughs> Let's tell her we were painting our toes when we heard a crash. We ran out and saw Johnny Depp thrown from his motorcycle lying on the lawn. <laughs> we took him inside, cleaned up his wounds, and I'm carrying his love child. <laughs> My lawn, my love child. <laughs> Come in. Hey, Six. Oh, hi, Anthony. Boss, Stephanie's downstairs. We're going to an all-night bingo parlor. Do you mind uh, keeping her company while I change my shoes? Sure, no problem. Thanks. You know, don't ask me why, but these just don't feel like bingo footwear. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Oh, what happened? She put it right in her purse. She stole it. Stole what? The gold pepper my little Richard gave my father shaped like him playing the piano. You turn little Richard's head and pepper falls out of the keyboard. Stephanie stole it. And this bothers you? What bothers me is that my brother is dating a girl who's a thief. Well, it could be worse. How? He could be dating a guy who's a thief. <laughs> Come on. Hi, Stephanie. This is my friend Six. Six? Stephanie. Hi. Did Anthony tell you we're going to bingo tonight? What a trip. <laughs> this bingo. Is there something unique about this bingo? Like, you have to bring your own prizes? <laughs> Nice bag. It's big. Is it heavy, too? I like a big bag. I could cram a couch into this one. Ever try? <laughs> you guys want to come to bingo with us? I'm sure they got enough numbers. <laughs> no, that's okay. We'll just stay here and take inventory. Okay. Bye. 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 See you later. See you later. <laughs> Blended. <laughs> this is awful. Do you realize what a totally demented situation this is? Well, maybe she only steals a little Richard memorabilia. Beatles fans are like that. <laughs> Anthony's doing so well. 
If I tell him, he's so fragile. Who knows what it could do to him? He could turn back to drugs, and it would be all my fault. <laughs> think, think. Come on, brain. There must be a way out of this. Joey, it's something weird. Not now, Blossom. I'm thinking. That's what that burning tire smell is. <laughs> Look, you don't understand, Blossom. My life is over. Well, what's wrong? Where do I start? Okay, here it goes. Do you remember Dad's car? <laughs> Joey, you're only 15. You didn't. I just wanted to impress Kirsty. So you have to drive the car to the mall? Couldn't you just show her how you drink Pepsi through your nose? <laughs> I did that, too. <laughs> I cried in front of her, Blossom. Not just a little bit, either. Lots. Kirsty said her little brother doesn't even cry as much, and he's teething. <laughs> well, I'm gonna call the police. No, you can't call the police. Who's driving without a license? Look, the car's got to be somewhere. I'd check Stephanie's purse. <laughs> oh, God, Dad leaves me in charge, and look what happens. He left you in charge? That's right. He said he left me in charge. Really? <laughs> then technically, this is your fault. <laughs> nice going, Blossom. <laughs> Juvenile idiot. No, not you, officer. This is, uh, Mrs. Beagleman? I forgot where I parked my car. This happens to me all the time. License number? 629FZQ. He's checking the computer. What? I see. Thank you. You park in front of the movies, right? At the curb? I had to. All the handicap spots were taken. The curb was red, Einstein. The car's been towed. It's at the police impound lot. Wow, that's great. At least we know where it is. Um, Joey, I hate to introduce to you the concept of reality, but someone's going to have to go down there and show ID before they give the car back. Whoa. I'm still dead. <laughs> Wait, I have an idea. Anthony could do it. Well, Anthony's got his own problems. Besides, he hasn't been out during the day since he got sober. <laughs> anyway, there's nothing we can do about it now. You're right. We'll just have to wait until you can think of something. Why me? Because you're in charge. <laughs> Hello? Dad! Hi, how's it going on the boat? Everyone's fine. Anthony's good. How's Joey? Gee, Dad, you know, I think we got a bad connection. <laughs> I can hardly hear you, Dad. Maybe it's those sunspots or that Bermuda Triangle thing. You're fading, Dad. I can hardly hear you. Call me when you get to land. Everything's fine. Bye. Bye, Mr. Russo. <laughs> I've lied to my father. You know, there's a good side to this. I'll have my best friend with me when I go to hell. <laughs> Blossom, I got locked in a porta toilet at a Rolling Stones concert. I've been to hell. <laughs> How am I going to lie to Anthony about Stephanie? Well, just tell him straight out and risk his reaction. Maybe I should confront Stephanie first. Maybe she's got a good reason for what she did. Blossom, I think she's got the best reason in the world. She's a thief. Blossom, hi. Is everything okay? Sure, I, I was just in the neighborhood. I thought I'd drop by it. Wedding gown? <laughs> you always wear a sharp little cookie. <laughs> well, you're here, kid. You might as well come in. Anthony 
Blossom, what's going on? Hey, Blossom. It was going to be our little surprise. Well, I'm glad you're here. You'll stay for cake? <laughs> oh, no. You're not. You can't be getting married. I'm sorry that I'm late. <laughs> That's right, I am the beautiful little Richard, and don't you ever forget it. Woo! Anthony, you have to stop this. Shut up! <laughs> now, let's get on with this wedding. Is there anyone present here tonight who would oppose this union? Speak up! I think, I mean, I oppose. Shut up! <laughs> Come on, Blossom, no one ever opposes. Anthony, I wasn't going to tell you, but now I have to. She took Dad's little Richard. It, it, your pepper mill. Are you worried about a pepper mill? <laughs> Listen to this. The Beatles stole my music. Elvis stole my hairdo. <laughs> and James Bond stole my screen. <laughs> and I believe Smokey Robinson stole my Swiss Army knife. <laughs> but I can't prove it. <laughs> Suddenly, I don't feel too good. Anybody got some scotch or a cold beer? No, Anthony, you can't. What about some drugs? There's got to be some drugs around here somewhere. Come back here! <laughs> You're almost done. Just repeat after me. A wop, baba, loo, bop, ba, lop, bam, boom. Don't do it, Anthony. Don't say it. Don't say what? A wop, baba, loo, bop, ba, lop, bam, boom. <laughs> That's it. You did it. They are married. But I said it, not him. Doesn't matter who says it. Someone says it. They are married. You know the rule. You ain't no fool. You've been in school. <laughs> but all I said was a wop, bop, loo, bop, bop, bam, boo. Said it again. They're married real good now. <laughs> Do this. Can't stop. I'm fine. I'm fine. Go back to sleep. you win. Please don't tell me you have a key. No. No, Anthony and I just got in. He's upstairs. S Stephanie, there, there's something I need to ask you. You had a good reason for taking the little Richard Peppermill, didn't you? I thought it was Billy Joel. <laughs> I was hoping for something better than that. Well, this isn't easy for me, Blossom. See, I have this problem. I know about it, Stephanie. That's where you met Anthony, at AA. Well, not that problem. Not the drugs. I don't do drugs anymore. You gotta believe me, Blossom. Sure, if you say so. You know, in the old days, sometimes I used to steal to pay for the drugs. Anyway, the good news is now I use the money I get from stealing to pay for my therapist, Larry, who's really brilliant. I recommend him highly. Does Larry ever work on the stealing thing? No, oh, he doesn't know about it. See, see, if I told him about it, he'd probably cure me of stealing. And if I didn't steal, then I couldn't afford to pay him, and then he'd stop treating me, and I think I could really use the therapy, don't you? Just a little. <laughs> Great watch. I have one just like that. Oh, it's yours. <laughs> no, thanks, really. I have a watch just like no, <laughs> I mean, it's your watch. See, I forgot mine at home, and I borrowed yours. It was just for the night. I got a split. Tell Anthony I'll see him tonight. And thanks, Blossom. For what? For being a good kid and keeping this between us. Well, Anthony speaks very highly of you.
friends. So they asked them to go to the police station and lie for you. Then they scatter like rats. <laughs> Anthony, we have to talk. Yeah, we do. I know about Stephanie and what happened. We broke up. You did? She was using again. How'd you know? When you've been there yourself, you know. I'm sorry, Anthony. I know how much you cared for her. I still do. And when she decides to straighten out, I'll be there for her. But I can't be around that scene. Not now, not ever. But I want to talk to you about how you let me down, Blossom. Me? That's right. You knew something was wrong, but you didn't come to me right away. You know, I thought we had a different kind of thing going. I wanted to tell you, but I was afraid of how you'd react. Watch this. Why'd you do that? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> you hear bells? It was just the phone. Oh. oh, I remember it now. I did it to prove a point. I am not made of glass. I won't break. And if you want me to be completely normal, you better stop treating me like I got the word fragile stamped on my forehead. I'm dead. <laughs> that was Dad on the phone. He's coming home. When? Tonight. What happened to the crews? Well, the Elvis impersonator and the Chuck Berry impersonator got in a big fight over who was the real king of rock and roll. <laughs> and in the scuffle, Fabian got poked in the eye with a limbo stick and needed a specialist. They got a Fabian impersonator? No, they got the real Fabian. <laughs> was it the shot in the head or am I missing something here? Go ahead, Joey. You can tell him. I drove Dad's car to the mall, and it got towed. And now I've got to find someone with valid ID to go down there and get it back for me before it closes. This is great. <laughs> this is great? Yeah. You're not treating me with kid gloves. You're treating me like I'm normal. This is very good. So you'll do it? Absolutely. Oh, yes. I love this man. And don't worry about the money. Between what Dad left me and the blood I sold were set. So, where is this place? The police station. No, really, where is it? Hang tough, Anthony. I know it's a police station, but this is a nice one with trees. I'm sorry, I can't go. Damn it, I was an addict for four years. The last person I ever wanted to see was a cop. I'm sorry, Joey, I just can't. Fine, you're not going. I understand. But you did say that you wanted to be treated normally. Pulling yourself together and helping Joey out of this mess would be a good start. I said I can't go. I didn't say I'm not going. See, those are two very separate things. See, I can't go, I shouldn't go, but I'm going. You know why I'm going? I don't have a clue. <laughs> Because I cannot let Dad down. I mean, he did put me in charge. <laughs> oh, this was my kind of gig. You work four days, get paid for seven. So how was the cruise? It was just like the love boat, except the sea was choppy, the food was lousy, and all the women looked like Gavin McLeod. <laughs> <sighs> so, how'd you guys make out on your own? Dad, I drove your car to the mall to impress a girl. And when I came out, it was stolen. Except it really wasn't stolen, it was only towed because I parked in a red zone. But I didn't know from red. I mean, if they didn't want you to park there, why did they paint it so colorful? <laughs> so then Anthony had to go down to the police station, use his ID to get it back. And I, I swear, Dad, I will never do anything like this again. I will go to my room right now. How long do you want me to stay there? A year? <laughs> and you? Well, I found out my girlfriend, Stephanie, was stealing things from our house and using drugs. So I broke it off with her. 
It was a real mess, Dad, but I'm fine. Yours was good, but your brother's is better. You guys are good. <laughs> you guys are very good. <laughs> we're, we're, we're good? Oh, oh, thanks for the laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you're up, Blossom. What happened to you? Nothing. Six slept over on Monday, and that was about it. You better not be serious, young lady. <laughs> huh? How many times have I told you no sleepovers on school nights? I tried to tell her, Dad. <laughs> Weekends are one thing, but school nights are for homework and study. I'm disappointed, Blossom. Me too. <laughs> <laughs>